right this is the weekly review for the March 15th that week the March 15th I finished so we started on the March 11th and this is what we saw all right going into the March 11th week this is what we saw this is the weekly close from the previous week so going into it my weekly bias was bearish now we have to blend that in with the economic calendar and the weekly profile to determine how exactly we can trade this so let's get out of this um, as far as the next weekly candle goes so this is the weekly candle that ended up forming which was a bearish week this push up into a, a premium a premium array and then this was our weekly low uh, was our a um, point of interest as far as where the part, uh, market should push down to so going into going into the um, chart um, the higher time from bias was bullish I'm uh, sorry bearish so let's see how it played out on a day-to-day -day basis so time frame alignment so you go from weekly to four hours right so this was our Friday trading this is the huge drop that we had on Friday so when we make that drop there are certain there's a couple of PD arrays that we ended up forming here we had a breaker block here right we had a breaker block here we had a fair value gap right here right these are all within the premium array so we can reasonably expect market to come into this area right so we can reasonably expect market to come in this area and show either a support here after it breaks or show resistance here um, um, once it comes here so if you look at it from a fib standpoint this was the weekly low and high and this was the 50 percent of that so monday tuesday what can we expect so previous week we had tuesday forming the low so we had a classic expansion week with a tgif friday right our weekly objective previous week was here with the tgif friday right so going into next week we can expect a um, consolidation week or a midweek reversal right so consolidation consolidation to um uh, uh uh, we can have midweek reversal or we can have consolidation to a um, um, expansion so now here's this this is where we blend in the economic news so Monday obviously there's no trading on Monday and we have a high impact news um, on Tuesday uh, Tuesday at 830 was our first high impact news right so we can reasonably expect price to shoot up on Tuesday and which it did now there was probably a type of uh, entry here for you to uh, go long here but I decided not to go long here I was waiting for this uh, price to push up into this area now going into the March week it was kind of confusing because again uh, we had ES that formed a doji last week and we had a YM that was um, also uh, forming lower highs so it was a SMT on weekly highs right so it was hard for me to personally correlate these things and make an understanding of it but nonetheless I focused on NQ because it had a really nice market structure right so we formed a uh, four hour order block at six o'clock in the morning six o'clock six seven eight nine ten so six seven eight nine ten this was our um, AM session order block which it supported right price supported that order block and then continued to push higher on Tuesday now on Tuesday we have consolidation going into London session and then we had this is the London candle that made the high of the day at um, uh, on, on, on in this high and then we had a market structure shift here right and so once we created that again we created this um, um, premium array after the break of market structure we created this premium array and we continued to um, push downward toward the end of the week with toward our weekly objective so our point of interest was this area right here now once the news got to that area so we had Tuesday news that pushed price higher we had Wednesday at one o'clock that pushed prices higher now at this point we can reasonably consider a midweek reversal consolidation expansion profile so because Tuesday we did not form a high because Wednesday we formed that high once we Wednesday form confirmed that high we started hunting for our setups there so from an objective standpoint we had economic calendar we had a weekly profile in mind we had a higher time frame bias of being weekly um, bearish 
and then we had a four hour uh, PDRA for the week of interest. So this the four hour PDRA of interest was um, this premium array in the four hour, right? Once the price got there, then we dropped down to from four hours to 15 minute chart, right? So price came there on Wednesday. This was the market structure on Wednesday. Asia consolidated, right? True day opening price is here. So we have a manipulation up top. London manipulated. We had a followed by a change in state of delivery and a market structure shift. This was no man zone, right? Seven o'clock, we still pushed down lower. And once 9.30 hit, um, we continue to flush down. Once this flush down happened, we can uh, look for trade for short entries. Thursday, um, Thursday would be a trade off a of one hour because um, because from four hours, let's get rid of this. Thursday would be a trade from uh, one hour premium array that was created on on Wednesday. So we have premium arrays here. This is where we look to take trades from, right? So Thursday market pushed higher. Thursday market pushed higher into London session, and once the London session um, gave us the higher the higher of the day, right? At 4:15, we had a market structure shift with this candle here, followed by multiple changes in state of delivery here, right? This we had uh, another 8:30 news on Thursday. Thursday 8:30 news. So we we went to a, a a specific order block here on from London session at 8:30. We did not take out take out any um, highs with turtle soup, but we did go to an order block here that was created in London session, and we showed resistance here at 8:30. So once the 8:30, we had confirmation that market was breaking structure to the lower side. 9:30 open went into an order block here and into a premium array from 8:30 to 9:30, and then we had a flush in market structure again. Now, there's a couple of advanced market structure that I want to look at from starting from four hours here. So our first advanced market structure that formed was within that area, within this um, point of interest, right? So from a four hour to 15 minute, we can look at advanced market structure. So when I see that we are also um, talking about all this, so from four hours we identified that this was the next day model on Thursday, and then advanced market structure. So Let's do a talk about advanced market structure on Wednesday because Wednesday was the four hour PD array that price came to. Right, so at this point. So from four hours to 15 minutes, it's where our advanced market structure would be forming. So Wednesday we hit this, so this becomes our long term high, followed by a short term high on the left or the right, or left, my left. And this was another short term high that was violated. So this puts in our intermediate term high after this high was confirmed at 9.15 to 9, yeah, 9.15 to 9.30, right? So this becomes our, this becomes our intermediate term high. This becomes our short term high. So this confirms the intermediate term. So this confirms the intermediate term high here. Once the market structure moves down, gives, comes back into it, anything into this range would be a silver bullet pattern into this, into this push higher into the premium rate. So you could have elected to look for a sale around PM session on on uh, Wednesday to continue market structure down, right? Now, now that was the advanced market structure over the four hour. Now let's look at the Thursday model, right? Thursday, once the price came into our Thursday premium array, which is one hour here, one hour here. So let's look at the advanced market structure. Let's see here. We had. Um, Right here from Wednesdays, this would be our advanced market structure forming in this area. This would be a point of interest here. Why is that? Because we had Thursday, we had um, flush down. We still had a um, premium raise where price was not uh, traded efficiently. So once we highlighted that, we go from one hour to five minute. So time from alignment from one hour to five minute on Thursday. And this is what we get. So London session again puts in that high of the week or high of the day. Once the London session puts the high of the day, we look for a short term high on the left, short term high on the right, right? So we have multiple short term highs here, right? 
Now this is where we start to look for an intermediate term high. So we have short term high here, right? This becomes our intermediate term high, right? This becomes our short term high. So this short term high confirms this intermediate term high, right? So anything coming back into this area, this area should be protected, right? This is the intermediate term high that should be protected. Now, you would look for some type of SMT divergence here for to confirmation that we're going down. So this is, again, on Thursday, we had some type of news on Thursday, again, as a PPI, I believe, 8.30 PPI, right? So 8.30 we had PPI, and so let's look at how that news influenced it, right? So if this is our intermediate term high, this high should not be broken. So at 8.30, price comes up, goes into this short term high again as a premium premium PDRA price respects it and then we have a flush right 830 news um, confirmed that price is just not price is not moving up so we cannot trade until 930 starts right so 930 again it pushes up takes out the short term high takes out the short term goes into this PDRA that was created prior to 830 <laughs> And then we have a market structure shift and market structure flush on Thursday. So that's our trade for the week on Thursday based on this advanced market structure. Now, Friday, I did not trade. But Friday was actually uh, so it's actually a pretty good day to trade. But I just elected not to trade on Friday. So two, two trades for me this week. And we can look at how Friday played out. Friday played out. So let's go to one hour chart again. So using the next day model, how do we trade Friday? So we had an uh, expansion down here on Thursday, right? So how do we elect, how do we trade that? We mark out the highs and lows, or we mark out the premium and the discount arrays, right? So this was the premium, and this is the discount array. So we have a couple arrays here. We had a breaker here. We had a fair value, tiny little fair value gap here. So we can look for prices to come into this area, which it does, right? Which it does on in uh, early London or late London session. So we go from one hour to five minutes. So we can see that Asia consolidated. We had a a um, true day open price here, where the market rallies up, right? And it hits that point of interest. Now at this point of interest, we start marking out our advanced market structure here. So you have long-term high here, followed by lots of short-term highs here. We have a short-term high that was violated. This was hard to see. Um, this is hard to. This is a short-term high that was violated, right? So this becomes potentially our intermediate term high. And that intermediate term high is confirmed once the short-term high was formed, right? So once the short-term high was formed, and uh, we can look for a silver bullet pattern here so short term high violated change in market structure here comes back into it this is all prior to 9 30 so it would be hard to trade this um, if you're if I'm going to be trading um, options contract right based on this price action so this was our silver bullet entry here prior to 9 30 right once 9 30 hit I don't think there was an um, entry here at least on a five minute chart so 9.30 open here, it goes up into this um, area. I mean, there there's, could be a fair value gap in here. Like, let's look at the fair value gap there. So after, after 9.30 open, right? So there is, yeah, so there's 9.34. It goes into this order block slash fair value gap here. And then eventually market hits our uh, weekly objective, which is that weekly low. Once the weekly low is hit, I mean, I didn't see any reason for me to trade because we hit that weekly, um, we hit that weekly price action right at 9:45 or so. So there's, for me, there was no trade because we already hit the weekly objective. You could have had multiple weekly objectives, I, I believe. I mean, but for me, low hanging fruit would be the weekly low, right? And entry exit we talked about. We talked about advanced market structure. We talked talk, about talked about entry and exit for this uh, week so potentially you can have up to two to three weeks based on the weekly profile so there's again to review there's three types of weekly profiles there's classic expansion there's um, uh, midweek reversal and consolidation expansion weekly profile those are the high probability trade setups so each week going into it this is how i would play and and uh, perfect these ideas